House Democrats have vowed to stop a newly announced contract between the Postal Service and workhorse competitor Oshkosh. What's up, guys? I'm back like I never left. In this video, we are going to be talking about a massive news that can reverse the downward move of workhorse stock. So we're going to go over exactly what the news is and what could potentially happen for the stock moving forward. And we're also going to be talking about what to do with this stock if you're holding for the long term, if you got involved in it for the short term. I'm going to cover all this important information coming up. Now, before we get into the video, I appreciate if you can hit the like button. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. Check out the links in the description box to get free stocks and free Bitcoin worth $250. And also join our Patreon page. We recently started a private Discord chat. We were able to see exactly some of the portfolio that we were building. Even though the whole world stock market was going to the downside, we we're actually making massive moves and we we're actually making money in there. So make sure you check out the link in the description box below so as you can see over here we have workhorse stock today it's up at 24.72 percent you know i went all the way to 19 dollars close to 19 dollars and after hours so it was a massive news that came out we're going to be talking about it later on but of course the momentum was stopped yesterday because kathy wood bought more than 600,000 shares yesterday we talked about it and today it was relatively doing well it was green even though the overall stock market was selling off so that was fantastic to see workhorse was going up and so the massive news that can reverse that everything that is happening right now with workhorse stock is this specific move made by the house democrats which are looking to halt the USPS contract. So House Democrats have vowed to stop a newly announced contract between the Postal Service and workhorse competitor Oshkosh. Remember that contract was to modernize the Postal Service fleet. It had been announced earlier this week. Workhorse plummeted 50 percent on the news. Uh, we had to announce a new corporate update and give a news conference on on that. Now, this is the massive move that can reverse everything for workhorse. The House Democrats is looking to halt the USPS contract. And yesterday, we talked about workhorse itself was fighting back. So it's working great. You know, we have a support from Democrats. They said that they wanted, you know, all of the vehicles for the next few years, especially in 2025 and beyond that. You know, the majority of the vehicles that are on the road to be electric and that is really great to know that they are going to really uphold the word that they said and they're trying to fight back this USPS contract because Oshkosh is not going to be producing electric vehicles at the beginning. So later on, we're going to be talking about exactly, you know, what kind of vehicles they are going to be producing, you know, what is the in-depth analysis of, the, of this specific contract. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see, we have a workhorse stock just rallied up to the upside significantly went to $19 within a span of few minutes in spite of what just came out and after hours it's also selling to the downside so what can you do right now so yesterday we had a lot of people that already sold out of their positions people are still doubting if they can still hold and etc so right now everything is on pause we have Kathy Wood that's still buying more shares as the stock goes down and we have this more positive catalyst that just came right now so it's going to be a very great swing trading opportunity short-term trading opportunity presented by workhorse so of course if you're somebody that's holding it for the long term that's great news to see that their pushback of this is going to be massive you know usps contract deal that can change everything for a workhorse but however you can take advantage when the stock goes up, if it goes down, if it reverses all the way back you know, to $20 or if it continues to drop again when we hear news that they're not going to be doing anything about the USPS contract, etc. So this is a great opportunity to keep it in your watch list if you're a short-term trader. And great news also for the long-term investors to hear a pushback coming from the Democrats. So let's check out this video to look at exactly why the USPS shows Oshkosh instead of workhorse some of the hurdles and we're going to go over in detail and talk about like if they even have an opportunity to reverse it so let's check out this video in detail and I'm going to come back and I'm going to close this video. According to Bloomberg Intelligence this contract could be worth more than 5.7 billion dollars in revenue. Where are we with the deal? Is this deal final for Oshkosh? 
Uh, it's it's final in a sense. I mean, they're giving them uh, the money to get started. So there's uh, $482 million. Basically, that's just going to go to designing this thing and building the factory or, or tooling the factory. So um, it's just it's just kind of early stages. It'll ramp up from here. But at the moment, it's called a, an IDIQ, indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity. So it's flexible. Okay, so... Um you joined us recently over the last few weeks when we, we, we learned that President Biden wants to electrify uh, the fleet of hundreds of thousands of federal vehicles. Included in that, hundreds of thousands are indeed hundreds of thousands of the United States Postal Service vehicles. So are these ones that are made by Oshkosh, are they going to be electric? They're, they're not initially. Um, huh. That's what's, what's weird about this contract. It calls for uh, you know, efficient vehicles. Um, starting probably with gas, and then and then um, they're going to ideally design something that can be retrofitted with an electric motor and drivetrain, uh, you know, years down the line. So this, um, so this it's is a little bit of a, yeah. a, a a half step, if you will. This is really surprising for me, given that these car these vehicles haven't. I don't want to call them cars. They they're something. I don't <laughs> trucks, vans, yeah. cars. They're <laughs> yeah. They're pretty cool looking. I mean, they were trending on Twitter last night for a reason. I think they're cool looking. They're, they're polarizing, I, th I think we could say. Um, at least right. the design at this point is. Um, it, it's puzzling to me, though, that they wouldn't just jump out of the gate with electric vehicles, because as you explained to us just a few weeks ago, um, postal trucks are like the perfect thing for, for electric vehicles because they can do an entire route on one charge and then go back to where uh, they park overnight and get charged. Yeah, and, and they're very set routes. They know how far they need to go. There's a lot of braking. Um, I think what happened here is, you know, there, there's more of a challenge to it than just finding the right battery and the right rig. There's a huge infrastructure component in, in getting these things charged. Um, and I think, you know, the Postal Service probably looked at this and saw a number of big hurdles beyond the vehicle. Also, they really need these things, Tim. You know, they need the first of these to come in at, in 2023. Um, the contract's been out since 2015. And the postal fleet, these trucks we see all the time, are the oldest and some of the most inefficient uh, vehicles in the federal fleet. So they're getting about 10 miles a gallon. They're always wow. in the shop. They're like 30 years old. So I think they wanted, um, you know, they wanted to start moving the ball a little, a little more quickly. Hey Kyle, what what happened to um, Workhorse yesterday? What happened to to, uh, to Oshkosh? I mean, these are obviously different companies, and, and Workhorse um, really uh, didn't do well yesterday because of of this news, so falling forty seven percent, as I mentioned. Yeah, they really got whacked, um, and not really surprisingly, you know, the company's been around for some time, uh, but it's still working on its first product. It's had a couple pivots. You know, I think investors were really holding out hope. You know, it was one of the only pure play EV makers in the final in the group of finalists. So I think investors were really thinking the government would um, would throw them the work or some of the work, especially, you know, a company at this stage. They could essentially build the company around this product. And, you know, in some ways that would have been good for Uncle Sam. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're kind of back to the drawing board. You know, they want to bring out sort of a mass market pickup. Yeah. But there's a ton of companies doing that right now, including Ford and GM, which, you know, are decent at making pickups. So <laughs> they have experience. Uh, it's kind of a, a little bit of an existential crisis um, or at least, a you know, a revaluing there of, of their prospects. So as you saw from the video, so there still might be some hope for workhorse stock and we still might see some pop here and there within the next few days. So definitely keep it in your watch list and let me know in the comments section below if you're still gonna be holding Workhorse. Are you gonna be buying back into Workhorse stock? Let me know in the comments section below, but if you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comments section below. Check out all the links in the description box to get free stocks, free Bitcoin, and also join our private Patreon chat room and Discord group in the description box. Here. You can find all the links there but i catch you guys on another video later on peace out